Hey everybody, it's Bruce. Welcome back to the channel. Here in front of me I have the cheapest bike repair stand on Amazon.com. This was $48, I think around $51, shipped with tax, with everything, blah, blah, blah. And I'm going to open it up and check it out, see how it is, and then give it a try. Okay, it was nice that uh, it has two boxes to help protect it and even a little bit of wood down here at the end. That's kind of interesting. Um, but it is just kind of loosely put in here. Let's go ahead and take it out. I think it'll be really interesting to compare this bike repair stand compared to my other one I had, which was a Park Tools, uh, I think it's called SC 10.2, which was about $200, and this one's about $48, so um, around four times the price was the part tools compared to this so it'll be interesting to see how much worse it is for about one quarter of the price it actually feels pretty sturdy I was a little bit confused at first how this thing like unfolds but it is really simple once you figure it out I gotta say the quality feels really good initially anyway and very smooth by the way I guess I should have mentioned the brand Apparently it's Ride All Day Cycle Products. I'll put a link to the stand in my description down below. This is the uh, little work tray, so I'm going to go ahead and install that real quick. One thing I actually like about it, and I don't remember if my Park Tools one could do this or not, is you can loosen this right here. You can loosen this and actually kind of change the angle of the entire stand, like so, and then retighten it up. So if you wanted it in an extreme angle like that, I suppose you could do that and then lock it down. Or if you want it more vertical, just kind of press it like that and now you're nearly vertical. I gotta say, I am super impressed with this stand currently. I mean, this feels like, okay, that's it. I mean, the plastic, these, these clamps, this clamp, all this is all plastic, so is it going to hold up over time? I don't know. This is metal. This is metal. These these feel like really nice heavy gauge. But I will say, you know, just picking up the entire box that it came in compared to my Park, Park Tools um, bike repair stand, this thing is way lighter. So, I mean, even just, you know, I can easily pick this up with one arm. The Park Tool, ones I, the Park Tool stand I had was much heavier overall. So this is definitely a lighter duty stand. Also, all of this is plastic. The park tools, this was all metal. So, I mean, it feels decently well built. Really, it does. Not, not just saying that. It really feels good. Um, but there's no question, it's not as heavy duty as the uh, PC, PCS 10, I think. No, PCS 10.2, I think is what it was called. Sorry if I'm getting that wrong. But, um, but you know, it's a quarter of the price, so... All right, let's get a heavy bike, the heaviest bike I have right now, which is pretty heavy, and put it on here and see how it works. Okay, it's up there, but I feel like this is about as big of a bike as I would want to put on this bike stand. I mean, it's holding it up fine, but I don't know. It looks kind of silly. This stand is considerably smaller I think looking than my my old park tools one and this bike is gigantic it looks gigantic but I mean it is holding it up right I can I can do the pedals I can work on it also I have it mounted pretty high at the moment I, I could lower the entire thing might look a little bit more reasonable okay I did some adjustment um, I lowered it down, I rotated it a little bit. It's kind of more better now, but I, I don't know, something I don't like about this. 
and when I adjusted it, I actually loosened this part, you know, loosened this, and the, this has like teeth, and that's how you rotate it. Hang on, let me get you a better picture of that. I loosened this up, and I was able to rotate it while all the weight was on the bike, uh, on the stand that is, then I tightened it down, but I didn't like the feeling of it. It feels like this thing is like really torquing this little joint. I, it, you could almost like see it bend when I when I let the weight off. If I had a tripod, I don't have one right now, I could have showed you that, but um, yeah. I don't know. I think that this bike, whatever its weight is, whatever you know to do with its with its size, is about the max I would want to do on this stand, which is kind of unfortunate. But honestly, it's not that often that I I'm messing with bikes this big. So now I'm going to go ahead and put in my Detroit Sparrow, which is much lighter and smaller overall, and we'll see how that goes. Okay, that's a lot lot better. Um, I still actually feel like it's stressing this. A little more than I would like. Um, I don't know. I mean, it's not breaking. Certainly, it's doing its job, but it, I'm not super, super confident. You know, only time will tell uh, if it's actually going to hold up. And you know what? I'll post in the comments section if I have any trouble with it or it breaks in a year or whatever. It did say, I think, on the package that it could take up to like 30 kilograms, which would be around 60-ish pounds. So. You know, all these bikes should be well under 30 kilograms, I guess. Even this this big thing should be, well, I don't know, no more than 20. Let's check and find out. Hang on. Wow, that was super heavy, but it was about 23 kilograms. So, yeah, that thing says it can do 30. I guess that really would be about the maximum. One thing I noticed is it feels like, I guess because these feet aren't all that big, although that's my fault. Yeah, as I was saying, I guess because these feet aren't all that long, I think they're smaller than my park tools stand. I feel like the, the bike does have a tendency to, to wanna tip the stand if you put too much weight up on the front. Not a big deal, but yeah, see that? Just real easy. So anyway, the price was $48 compared to the Park Tools one that I had, which was about $200. Um, yeah, definitely it's not quite as nice, but you know, you're only paying 25%. I guess you're getting about 50% of the stand at 25% of the price, so it's not a bad deal. That's about it for this video. Thanks everybody for watching. Talk to y'all later. Bye.